Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, fitting arcs to tool paths and also we'll talk about uh, surface selection for machining. So I have a, a core model in here and I've generated a parallel finishing tool pad to it. Now we have a global options added to our 2017 release and if you go over to machining preferences you can now specify a maximum arc radius to fit arcs to tool pads. So depending on what your machine controller can handle for arcs, you can specify a maximum arc radius and you can constrain it to the three principal planes which could be X, Y, X, Z or Y, Z. And for example, I'm going to set the maximum arc radius to 5. In this case it's going to be 5 inches since I'm working in inch units. And as I regenerate this tool pad, you will notice that the maximum arc radius is restricted to 5 and any arcs that are over uh, 5 inches in radius would be linearized. Anything under 5 would be output as true arcs. So you have the option to set it globally and program your tool path. So if you have a limitation on what your controller can handle for the maximum arc radius, you can specify it right in there. Now, there's one other nice feature that's been added to our 2017 release is the ability to select surfaces for machining. So you need to have a surface-based geometry, so the surfaces have to be uh, not stitched together, meaning they need to be exploded, so you'd be able to select those surfaces individually. So when you go into a machining operation, let's say in this case it's a three-axis, you will notice that there's a new tab in here called Part Surfaces. Selecting Part Surfaces will allow you to pick a surface or a bunch of surfaces for machining. So I can click on Select Surfaces and I can make my selections in here, right mouse button click, and then select generate. Now there's a couple of things I would like to point out here is uh, the surfaces that you select are going to be, uh, the tool paths are going to be generated for those. And uh, one thing that needs to be noticed is it will not uh, check against any adjacent surfaces. So there, so you will want to make sure that when you make your selections, you select the surfaces and you know that you want to machine so there is no gout check built into adjacent surfaces at this point of time but you can directly select surfaces for machining in here.